All right, in my last video, I introduced the idea of volume. Once again, volume is number or amount of cubes or blocks. It's measured in units cubed with a little three, units three. So it could be meters three, uh, centimeters three, but we usually say cubed. All right, we did that in the last video. I want to show you a trick, trick to how to solve these problems. All right. The trick is to remember um, volume can be solved with three dimensions. Okay. Three dimensions, uh, base times width times height. Doesn't really matter the order. But you can also simplify this as well by remembering how to do this is base times height. Uh, if I mess this up, base times height is actually area. Okay. And then width. I, I kind of messed this up, but sometimes width is called length as well. So these are just different names. So base times height times length or width doesn't really matter so what you're doing is you're finding the area of one face okay area of one face then you multiply it by width or length however you want to call it doesn't really matter i'm going to call it length here because i like to say it the area of a face times by the length that is volume this is a trick to help you two things area of the face multiplied by the length now I know that's not three dimensions, but the third, the three dimensions are in the area. Area is two dimensions, right? Centimeters squared times the length would be the other, that'd be the third. So here we have two dimensions times by one dimension equals volume, which is three dimensions. Now, this doesn't really make sense what I'm doing until we go through some examples. So why is this a trick to remember it like this? Area of a face times by its length. Here is the trick. So if I'm going to do a question with a rectangular prism, it's easy. Okay, so if this was three, this was four, this was six. Area of a face, that's my face. Three times four is 12. 12 times six is, uh, what is 12 times six? 60? 72. Okay, so 12 times six, is 72. Well, yeah, duh. Why didn't you just multiply the numbers together? That would have been way easier. In fact, that's all I did. But I did the face first. I did these first, then I multiplied by six. Why do I care? Well, it's easier because if I am doing a triangular prism, and this is three, and this is four, and this is six, what am I going to do? I am going to get the face First, 4 times 3 divided by 2. What's 4 times 3 divided by 2? 4 times 3 is 12. Divided by 2 is 6. I get the area of the face. Then I multiply that by its length. So I get 6 times 6. It's going to be 36. And that makes sense. If, if you think about it, that makes sense. Because a triangular prism, if it has the same dimensions as this, is exactly half of the volume. I just cut this in half chopped it straight down the middle, it's going to have exactly half of the volume. And if you divide 72 by 2, you will get 36. All right. How else do this, does this help us? For cylinders. Yes, this helps us for cylinders as well. If you know this and remember this trick, you don't have to remember some sort of fancy formula. All you have to do is remember, find the area of the face. Find this area. Find the area of this face, and then what? Multiply it by its length, okay? That's all you need to do to find volume. You don't have to remember a formula. You just have to remember what are you doing. You have to understand. Find the area of this face, multiply it by the length. Area of this face, multiply it by the length. Find the area of this face, multiply it by its length. So let's go ahead and do an example really quick. 
So let's suppose that this was a cylinder with a radius of three, and let's say this was six. So what do I do? I find the area of this face. I'm gonna make it yellow, just like the other ones, just so you can see, area of the face. Pi r squared, 3.14 times r, which is three, three squared, 3.14 times nine, and what is that? Use a calculator. 3.14 times 9 equals 28.26. That's our area of the face. Okay? How do I get the volume? Move this down a little bit. Volume equals area of the face times length. So we have 28.26 times by 6. Times by 6, we're going to get 169.56 and whatever units this is, let's say it's centimeters, this would be centimeters cubed. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Centimeters cubed. Okay, so, sorry, I kind of lost track of the last part in the video there, and I'm writing really small. But essentially, what, we're, what are we doing? The trick is find the area of the face, of one of the faces, multiply by its length. Okay, area of the face, multiply by length. Area of the face multiplied by length. Good luck.